Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV. Today we're going to go over the Shasta Oasis 26 RL. It's going to be a beautiful rear living floor plan, lots of space, going to have a slide. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the features on the front. Right off the bat, we're going to show you here, you're going to have a nice white propane tank cover. This is going to help on, uh, hide those unsightly tanks, nice easy access. You have a couple thumb screws right here, just unscrew those. This will pop open so you can access your propane tanks. As we look behind, uh, behind that, take a look at the diamond plating. It's going to be nice and high, that way you have no chance of any rocks. They're going to come up and have to worry about banging up your aluminum. This diamond plating not only looks nice, it's also going to help keep the rest of your trailer look nice and again protect it from those rock chips. Of course, you also have a light that's going to be over here. That way if you are hooking up or disconnecting at night, you're going to have a little bit of extra light in order to see what you're doing. Nice rounded front end is going to help give you some aerodynamics while you're going down the road. And let's take a look at the pass-through. I really like this pass-through. As you see, it's nice and spacious in there. Uh, with this pass-through, and I can show you again when we go inside, but you'll have access not only outside, but underneath the bed as well. So you get two points of access, making it easier to grab anything that you're going to need. Huge power awning on this coach, spanning almost the entire length of the trailer. It's going to cover both doors. That way you have a beautiful spot to be able to sit out underneath here, really enjoy nature, because you know, that's what camping's all about. It's about sitting out and enjoying beautiful days like today. That power awning is going to give you a little bit of extra shade so you're able to do so. As we make our way back, again, you'll see you're going to have one entrance here, which is going to go into the bedroom. The, this entrance right here is going to be your main entrance, nice and easy to climb up in. Then that's going to take you into your uh, rear living area. Speaking of, why don't we go ahead and take a look inside the beautiful rear living unit. Welcome to the inside of the Shasta Oasis 26 RL. Right here in the back, we're going to have two wonderful rockers. That way you get a place to really just sit down, relax, take a load off, and you can enjoy a TV on a rainy day. You'll also get a shelf on the side here with electrical plug-in. Uh, that's going to be great for putting any kind of drinks or also if you have an iPad or maybe laptop, you want a place to set it, it is going to be a big enough shelf, you can keep it there permanently. Then when you're ready, you can just bring it over into your lap and use it. Definitely a great feature to have. Also we have uh, windows on both sides as well as a huge picture window right here in the back. That way if you are backed up to a really beautiful site, you have a great view, you can spin these chairs around, you know, sit and enjoy your morning coffee and really enjoy that view. Up top here we're going to have storage which is going to run all the way across, so nice big storage compartment there. Also here on the ceiling you'll see you're going to have vents. This is going to have ducted AC throughout as well as ducted heating down on the floor. As we move into the slide, again, more storage here. Storage is always a good thing to have, especially in a lighter weight unit. This unit only weighs about a little under 5,300 pounds, so it's not too terribly heavy, and it's still gonna provide a lot of storage for you. Here we're gonna have our uh, sofa. Now this will fold into a bed in case you do have additional guests. Uh, it's just gonna be a nice jackknife sofa. This lifts up, you do have storage underneath. If you can see that, nice good storage. And then this is gonna go ahead and fold out for you and it's going to, again, give you an extra place for people to sleep. Also in the slide out, we're going to get our dinette. Perfect place for everyone to sit and eat. You get plenty of leg room. Sometimes these get a little tight. The table will be close to the cushion, but you have plenty of leg room here. And again, this table does drop down, giving you additional sleep surface. So that way, if you have multiple guests, you can sleep multiple people, which is always wonderful. You're also going to get a window here, again, letting in a lot of natural light, giving you a view. And then straight across, we're going to have our kitchen. So one of the things I like with the 26 RLs, you get a ton of countertop space. Take a look. You don't see this very often, especially in a lighter weight trailer. Ton of countertop space here, which is great. A couple of drawers, all right, full extension drawers there. Perfect for silverware, everything else you're gonna need. Nice spice rack that's gonna be built in right here. Also underneath, you're going to get additional storage there. Perfect place for a trash can. And you have another storage bin right here, which is great for any kind of pots or pans. Above that, you're going to have your three stove burner. This will be an Atwood cooktop, so you do get good flame control on there, as well as you're going to have your double bowl sink. This will be a 70-30, so nice big bowl on the left, a little bit smaller bowl on the right. Nice and easy to go ahead and rinse, and you get the high-rise faucet on there too. As you'll see, you're going to have two electrical outlets in the kitchen, which is great, because if you're like me, maybe you enjoy a coffee, all right, you can have one that's permanently going to be plugged in for your coffee maker. Then you get an extra one for toaster, blender, you know, if you have a Ninja blender, they work great. Anything else you're going to need, you can plug in right there. 
Also, nice cupboard space up here. If we take a look, good, uh, good extra pantry space there. Of course, we're gonna have a light to help light up our kitchen. We'll have a fully functional hood here with light and fan. And then right above that, we're gonna have our microwave. Again, there it is. This unit only weighs 5,276 pounds. So for its size, it's gonna be a relatively lightweight unit, which is still gonna be uh, fairly easily towable. Also, we're gonna get a nice, large Dometic fridge and freezer combo. You can take a look there. You know, this way you actually have your freezer. You have, um, you know, nice shelves here for beverages, help cool them down really quick. You'll have your trays all the way across. Again, plenty of uh, room in there. And this is going to have automatic switchover. So what that means for you is it'll run off propane and electric. You have it running off propane, plug it into shore power, it'll automatically switch over to electric for you, saving on your gas. Also, right next to the fridge, one of the things I love that they do, if you take a look here, you get a huge pantry. Take a look at that, folks. Again, you know, uh, um, in a lightweight trailer, a lot of times you don't find the pantry, but you get four amazing shelves right there. Plenty Plenty of space for your chips, Oreos, maybe stuff for s'mores. That's a place for it right there. Here's where our TV is going to go. You have a spot for a TV backer, so that way you can go ahead and put your arm in, and then you'll be able to uh, hang your LED TV. And of course, here will be your plugins for that. You're also going to have a couple of shelves here, and you'll get additional storage underneath. As we make our way up front, one last thing I want to show you before we go into the bathroom and bedroom is going to be right here. And this, of course, is going to be right as you walk into uh, your, your second door. So the thing I love about this is you can use this as a second wardrobe if you want, or you can also use this as a coat closet. If you will come right into that door, you have a perfect, this is perfect for a coat closet, go ahead and hang it up right there. Nice good space here, and you're going to get a nice additional large drawer right here. In the bathroom of the 26RL, you get a nice big tub shower unit. As you can see, you have plenty of space. You're gonna have a hand wand there, making it nice and easy to shower. And of course, a skylight up top, which is gonna let in a lot of light and give you some additional head space. Right outside the shower, you're gonna have a nice mirrored medicine cabinet, which has plenty of storage in it. And then down below that, you're gonna see your sink and vanity top, nice big countertop space for everything you're gonna need in your bathroom. A shelf below that, which is perfect for towels or maybe a small trash can as well as additional storage underneath the sink. Then in the corner, with plenty of leg room, we're gonna have our stool. In the bedroom, we're gonna get a nice large queen bed so you have plenty of space for uh, both of you to sleep. And like I mentioned, we were outside, you'll see you get additional storage. So this storage is gonna be connected to the pass-through, which is wonderful, because that way you can access it from outside or of course right in here. Uh, flanking the bed on both sides, you do get wardrobe with hanging space for all of your uh, shirts that you can hang, as well as a nice shelf right up top here. You're also going to get lights, a couple of reading lights, that way if you want to sit in bed and read, you can absolutely do that. Or maybe you're one that likes to watch TV, not a problem, here's going to be your hookups for TV, and you can mount a TV right here on the wall. All right, folks, again, thanks for joining me. This is the Shasta Oasis 26RL. This is a 2016 model. Beautiful floor plan. It's gonna be nice and open with that slide. You get the rockers in the back, just perfect for a couple to go out and really enjoy the weekend. If you do have any questions, please go ahead and leave a comment on the video, or you can give us a call here at American RV. We'll be happy to answer it that way as well. Thanks, folks. I hope you have a great camping season, and I can't wait to see you on your road to freedom.